Come on. Oh, come on. A little better. A little better. There we go. Fantastic. Greetings to everybody from Mentis, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legends of the Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we got Makar to join us so that we may come to the Wind Temple. And in this episode, uh, well, Makar actually, I forgot to mention, Makar got kidnapped. He got thrown in a cage. So now we got to get him out. We got to bust him out of jail, yo. Hello, Death Armo statues. Jeez, um, these guys are these are some big boys who take bombs and oh, come on. <sighs> Apparently, my aim sucked at the time. Um, but no, in the last I already covered this the last episode. But in this episode, we are continuing with our live stream uh, version of post commentary because once again, uh, my commentary uh, ended up getting distorted and unusable. Uh, for this recording session. So I am doing post-commentary via a stream. So if you see a chat show up on the right side of the screen, well, that's supposed to happen. I actually have a chat that's not active at the moment, but still is there. So anyway, as I was saying, we are currently continuing through the Wind Temple, currently blowing up the face of a second Death Armo statue. And popping it open, we get some more rupees, some arrows, and some bombs. Woo-hoo. Anyway, moving on from this room, this big circular room where Makar is. There we go. Moving on, as I said. A couple more P-hats, then some easy targets. Just a couple good BAM arrows right in the BAM face. Which is a fun to me. I like shooting down some of P-hats. Okay, looky, looky, we got ourselves a floor master down here, but it will not capture us the way it captured Makar. Haha, -ha, eat it. Take that. Goodbye, floor master. Unfortunately, we can't save Makar by getting abducted by the floor master either, because uh, they do not put us in the same place that they put Makar. Regrettably. No, they, they couldn't make it that easy. No, instead they put us uh, uh, back in that same room, just at the entrance of it. Anyway, so we now have opened up that gate, which will now be a platform, and there's nothing else down here for us, so using this... Oh. Okay, never mind. Hold on. Uno momento. Let's go ahead and come over here, and we will use this with the iron boots. And whoosh! Oh, oh. Okay, well, you know what they say. The third time is the charm. And bam. There we go. And I'm about to get hit. Oh. Avoided it. Nice. So, over here to the left, we have a treasure that we can get because we have that gate open, and it's a joy pendant. Whoop a dee a do. Hooray. All right, we got ourselves another stone slab, like at the entrance of the Wind Temple. We go ahead and move that propeller. We can't do anything with that stone slab, however, because we do not have a Makar. He is currently in prison, so Makar is impeding our progress. Thanks, Makar. Great. Glad to have you here. Just absolutely mm, fantastic. Great partner. Also in this room, welcome. We have a giant fan. Or we have a gust of wind anyway that just is ever going, ever, um, what's the word? A perpetual? Perpetual, eh, perpetual wind. That's right. Anyway, we use the Deku Leaf with it to fly up here, hit the switch, which opens up the gate for us to fly through. And also summons forth a uh, wizard somewhere nearby. Somewhere around here. It's supposed to be, anyway. No idea. Ah, there he is. Hello! Shoot your fireballs at me. Great jackass. Take an arrow to the face. Where is he now? Oh, same spot. Bam! And he's down. So where we want to go for progress is to the right. Uh, however, where we want to go right now is to the left. To the left. Everything we need is in a box to the left. Oh, bumped our head. Moving forward. There's a little treasure chest over here, which, if you recognize the design for a dungeon, is either going to be a treasure chart, which it's not, or, more likely being in a dungeon, the dungeon map! Hooray! 
froggy. Um, so now, so now we can see this place only has three floors, which should not make it that difficult. And it's really not. It's actually kind of a simple uh, temple. It just has a lot of things that hold you up, that impede your progress. So anyway, we hop up right on there. And let's just come over here and break this up and get whatever treasures that Wizrobe has for us. Okay, bye, Rupee, and we got some magic. Cool. Well, actually, yeah, that's that's right. We need magic and didn't even notice that. Yeah, let's go ahead and collect some more magic. Um, Yeah, that's more than enough. So flying around at the speed of sound, except not really at the, just at the speed of a moderate pace. Going to go ahead and hop that wind, that gust of wind to float up here and find a bridge to stand on. We got a Wizro being a douche firing at us. Oh, good. Some got some arrows out of that. I mean, I am not hurting for arrows, but still a little bit. Just the donation is always nice. Go ahead and hit him in the face. Oh, <laughs> almost got hit in the back by a fireball. Here, let's go ahead and take you out, Wizro. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Come on, come on. Where is he? There he is. And fire arrow to do... Really? Come on, come on. Ugh, damn it. All right, all right. And ice arrow. Freeze that son of a bitch for right now. Is that going to be enough to kill him? Wait for it. Uh, P hat. No th okay, good. He died over there. Good. And bye bye, P hat. And yeah, then might as well use the last. And eh, nah. Quickly head. Ow. Sorry. Uh, quickly head over here. Hope because we're just running low on magic. And bam. Got that up there. I'm gonna, I hope I remember to come. Ow! Son of a bitch! Just take, yeah, there you go. Take it. Take that. Take that, bitch. It's a hop and a skip away. Yeah. I suppose I did not even notice the check. How long ago did you send that? A minute ago, and I didn't even see that come up on the stream. Oh well, whatever. So I need more magic. But anyway, now he's up here. First of all, there's this pot over here that we can break. Bam, so now we can teleport to the entrance, and vice versa. And here we have a switch that will open up this. Haha, -ha, there's more to this room than meets the eye. Whoa. There's a lot more to it, actually. Actually, that's the big tedious part about this wind temple, is that it's very vertical. You got this whole crap to deal with. And now that we're down here, let's see, we don't have any keys at the moment. No. Buzz off. You too. Goodbye. Um, let's see, let's see. So we can't go through there, so... Can't do anything with that. Uh, oh, there's a door over here we can actually go through. Good. That's a good... What do we have in here? Oh, yes, this place. Oh, yes, this majority of the episode. Cool. So we got some spikes up there we can't get past. Not a big surprise. We got some platforms, uh, we got some blocks here that we can break through with our iron boots. And behold, armo statues and green shoes. These armor statues aren't doing it at the moment. Die, green shoes. Nope. Oh, ho, ho, you almost got me, bitch. All right. So, yeah. That's all there is here. Just these armor statues aren't coming alive, so we don't have to worry about them. So, let's just go ahead and out. Ignore that. That didn't happen. So, yeah, they're not doing anything. So, let's just go ahead and grab this block and push it. There's a little square with a pattern on it uh, up ahead here. That what you're just going to, uh, where is it, where is it? There it is. Just push this in place of. And pull it back one. There we go. Perfect. And then we're going to push this block so that we can climb that particular, um, that particular block that has a spring on it. Which will obviously launch us upward. And just one more. Bam. There we go. And up we go on to this, uh, plat this uh, spring-loaded platform, I guess you could call it. And goody, once again, another thing of me waiting around. Goodness. Oh, there we go. And come on, let it go. Just jump. 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 Sonora. There we go. And with that, we have access to a treasure chest. Which has a small key. Hooray! Which brings down the spikes. However, we are not done with this room. We only cleared one tile. There's more if we act if we break through every tile. 
So, if we equip the iron boots, we will fall through in just a moment. Goodness, what am I... What am... Okay, just just go through the freaking thing past me. I swear, I'm getting aggravated. Ah, small key. I cut... <laughs> small key, I cut... Nice, nice, I like that. That's good. Uh, that is, that's good. Oh, I just realized why I didn't show up, because I'm an idiot. And... Bam. There we go. That's why I didn't show up on the chat. I mean, on a stream, because it was over, being over-layered by uh, the footage. I forgot to fix that before uh, starting this one. Anyway, yep, uh, here we go. So now breaking through that one is where it is that we then have the Armos statues come to life. And just like the previous Armos stat- Ow! You son of a bitch. Hmm, stop that. I don't like that. Oh my god, just die. Just die. Yes, I can shoot an arrow in your eye, but I don't care. Mmm, you're aggravating me. There you go, there's two down, and bam. There. One last lucky shot, eh, bitch? Alright, whatever. With them down, we can go ahead and hop up here and just jump back on up. And nothing changes. So let's go break another one, shall we? So yes, each of these tiles will bring about a new enemy. Uh, in this case, in this place, place. Uh, in this case, another floor master, two floor masters, who are both very easy to defeat. Hey, quit, quit a bitch, quit trying to touch me. I'm not in the mood to be touched right now. A few, few rupees and such. But yes, every single one of these tiles breakable brings about a um, a new uh. Well, my brain does not. A new enemy. And obviously, if you clear all of them, you get a prize. Breaking this fourth one, we have... A safe one. Right. I knew... Yeah, there's one of them that is safe. There is no enemy that appears. Uh, despite my nervousness here, there's uh, actually a safe one. The second from the left is actually a safe one that spawns nothing. So, whoosh. And then we have one final one to break, which I forget what spawns from it. Red choo-choos? I think? Maybe? I don't think it's with robes. I forget what comes out of this one. If past me would just freaking equip the iron boots and move forward, that would be fantastic. I really don't know what the hell I was doing waiting around so much. Oh, come now me. I am... Getting aggravated. I'm sure this is how most of my viewers, how most of my viewers feel on a regular basis. Yes, right? Right, Keyblade? That's my thought right now. The, is this something that I was planning on editing out? You know what? You know what? You know what? First of all, Keyblade also. I'm waiting. Okay, I'm giving it five more seconds before it is I decide to just try and tap through the footage a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. You know, uh, actually, is this... If this was Sonic, would have dipped down. No, no, that's after four minutes. It's not been four minutes yet. Okay. Oh, okay. No, as soon as I right-click to try and skip forward a little bit. Whatever. So we got a treasure, uh, treasure chest that appears there. And our final enemy is... Uh, more shoes. Are these red shoes? I don't know. The... Maybe it's because of what I'm looking at, but yeah, okay, they're red shoes. Also, I don't know why, but is it coming through darker in the stream for some reason? Or is that just my tablet? Because I have the stream opened up on my tablet. I don't know, it looks darker for some reason. I don't know. Hopefully that's not coming through in my recording. Because uh, I actually am recording this separately from streaming. So that it, uh... So that I don't have to download anything later. It's just gonna be right on my computer immediately, and I can get to work. Which really sucks, as I'm gonna. I've discovered also uh, while I had these pre-edited. Yes, also we get a treasure chart from this treasure. Woo! More towards 100% completion. Um, now I discovered that I have a second session that I don't know what happened has no commentary. While the while the uh, footage for this one had corrupted commentary audio audio. Uh, this one has no commentary audio that I could find anywhere, so I'm going to have to do another one of these at some point. 
Who knows? Maybe if I'm good at this, I'll do another stream. Probably not. I might actually just... Or at least if I do, I at least have someone coming along with me. That would be nice. Anyway, we hope come in here. Oh, we got ourselves... A, uh, not... Well, I guess... Is this considered... Yeah, I guess this is a sub-boss. We have ourselves a wizrobe. But not just any wizrobe. One who... Summons friends. It's like a gameplay reaction. Kind of, sort of, yeah. Reacting to my own garbage gameplay. It's fantastic. No, it's not. It's garbage. Also, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Yes, I am aiming to get this picture for the Nintendo Gallery, because 100% completion. Don't want to miss a thing. And I don't want to miss a thing. Even when I close my eyes. I'm not very good at a Steve and Tyler impression, but I don't want to miss a thing. Yeah, we're just running around in a circle here, trying to find our wizard. There he is. Damn it. Come on, just find a spot and stand still, you ass. You ass hat who summoned these pea hats. Where are you? Oh my goodness. Okay. We can't. I want to. I know what my thought process was. I was about to say, why not just kill the enemies that are here? It's because if I kill the enemies that are here, the wizard will just summon more enemies. So just want to... Oh! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Yes! We got it. Okay, peace! <laughs> just dodge that fire reaction. Fire reaction, fire attack. I also have to be extremely careful because I, this is on hero mode and I take double damage. Because I'm crazy like that. I speak of which, I plan on being even crazier in a future Zelda game. Future Zelda Let's Play, but whatever. But for now, we can focus on... Eh, just shooting down, taking out the wizard robes and pea hats. There we go. Where's the summoning wizard robe at? Eh, come on. There's this... Ah, you son of a bitch. I'm... Oh, this is aggro... Ah! Oh, great. Kargoroks. My favorite. Squawk, squawk. Shut up, birds. Shut up, you damn birds. A couple of bird nerds. Alright. Oh, come on. Just kill that wizard. Yes, there we go. He's dead. And quickly, bam! He... D oh. Not dead. What the hell? Yo. Where? Are he's up there. Bam. Got him. He did. So now it's just uh, 1v1 versus uh, Darknut, who is fairly easy to take down, actually. You could have room of, like, four of these, and I'd still take him down easily. Ow! Asshole. There we go. Now, he did. And that summons forth a treasure chest. Hooray. Inside this treasure chest, we have, well, this is obviously an item of some kind, given the design. Holy shit, I'm amazed! Huh? Who cares that he's amazed? I won't, okay, I won't quote Sequelitis. Anyway, bam! We got ourselves a hookshot. Very useful tool. I'm a big fan. That's better in Twilight Princess. And somewhat better in Skyward Sword. Anyway, okay, let's see. So we got some things in here we can do with said hook shot. Let's go ahead and come on, come on. There we go, and bam. We got ourselves a little switch up here. We're just going to whip out our hammer for and stop. Oh, I said stop. Hammer time. Which opens our way out. Hooray. And that's it for this room. So, let's see, I think, right? Nothing else here. I'm assuming I was just checking out uh, Link's uh, goofy face there with the anger. Mr. Angry Eyes. So, hooray. Now we have ourselves a hook shot, which we can use to scale this room after we take out a couple of obnoxious little pea hats. Let's just go ahead and uh, come down. Come down. Fine, we'll go ahead and whip out our bow. And... Just go ahead and 
Bam. Oh, you son of a bitch. Bam. There we go. Snipe this one. Bam. Got him. And then... Bam. Nice. Any others? Oh, a couple more up there. Can I get this one? Uh, no. Damn it. Come on. I got arrows for days, bud. I can do this. I can do this. I got this. Come on. Damn it. Oh, come on. Now I need to hell. I can totally get this. I know I can. Whatever. Screw it. Too high up. Can't do anything with that because we need a, um, a car to help take care of that. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and scale this wall back up a little bit so we can launch it. And then we have the fun of this obnoxiousness, tediousness of scaling this room. Ugh. Just go ahead and... Oh, can't quite see that one. Is it behind me? I think it's behind me. I'll look behind me. Let's see. Yep, there we go. I was right. I was correct, sir. Nothing that way, so it's got to be that one I was just trying to hit. No, it is not. Where is the next one? Where is... Um, hello? Hello? Ah, I see what I gotta do. I gotta float across... Think, right? Yeah, I think I have to float across with the Deku Leaf to get over there first. So, I'll just go ahead and, uh... Pause. There we go, thank you. So we can equip a Deku Leaf and jump across. Oh, good, there's a treasure chest over here, too. Which we need. What is that gonna be, the compass? Based on design, I'm assuming the compass. I'm going to just assume it to be a compass. A compass. Survey says, a compass. Hooray, I know this game fairly well. Ow. There we go. All right, so with that, we have a couple treasure chests left, and I'm totally not going to miss any of them while I'm going through here. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Break that jar. We got some arrows. Break that jar. We got some magic. Goody. Oh, this looks like it'll be fun. Just launch ourselves right up there. Hooray. And then go ahead and use a hook shot to... Bam. Get ourselves up here. Yep, again, totally not tedious at all. Not a particular fan of this room, at the moment, anyway. This room gets better later, but still, for right now, just kind of obnoxious. Meanwhile, I have a dog behind me who's been laying behind me this whole time who's deciding to shift around. What you doing, dog? Oh, you're literally just turning around? Oh, okay. You're, you're a good girl. You are a very good girl. Yes, you are. Okay, anyway. Oh, P-Hat. I'm not sure P P-Hat. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, take you out with a nice uh, arrow to the face. Good. Article Chris Sabat talking about uh, Yamcha quoting Skyrim. Uh, I used to be an adventurer like you, and then I took an arrow to my life. Oh, look at that. There's our uh, next hookshot point, because we want to go up to where my car is. So, bam. I suppose there's a good chance to uh, say that, because uh, I'm pretty sure this is how I ended off the episode anyway, uh, in original commentary. But, um, I once had a fun little experience with Makar with another uh, streaming group. I don't know if anyone's heard of Video Games Awesome. But uh, they did a playthrough of Wind Waker years ago. And there are two instances in which they ever interacted with me. One of them was during Skyward Sword, in which I actually really helped them out. Link! The stone box seems like you have big items heavy as a great Deku tree. Yeah, whatever. Um, we need the iron boots. Yada yada. Um, but one was during Skyward Storm, which I gave them a very great tip that they were very appreciative of. I did gave it live in the chat, and that was cool. But the second time was when they were playing Wind Waker. Um, they kept calling him Marklar instead of Makar, and I did not get it was a reference. So in one of the uh, comment sections of one of their videos, I uh, said, Oh my god, it's Makar. I don't know if I was just having a bad day or whatever, but I flat said, Oh my god, it's Makar. And then Becky, who's the co-host, called me out on it. And then she called me out on stream, not by name, but just being like, oh my god, it's Makar, and yeah. So that was fun. It's like, yay, I got noticed, but in the wrong way. Anyway, though, so that's going to be it for this episode. Join us next time. We'll continue through more of the Wind Temple. Until then, this has been Amentus. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye, Makar. Peace out. He did. You know what? I've screwed up. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, Go down with him. Maybe. Do I do this here? I think. 
I honestly don't remember. Whatever. This has been a Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Adios!